Dan Hort with Bearcat Junior Guard, Troy Copain, and certainly one of the highlights of last season was your game-tying basket against Purdue in the NCAA tournament that forced overtime, a game the Bearcats eventually won. How many times have you watched it in the offseason? I've probably watched it, uh, well, right after, I've probably watched it about 3,700 <laughs> times. But uh, just throughout the year, you know, from workouts and stuff, I watch it just to give myself some motivation when days I'm tired, like, you know, I want to get back here. Uh, I watched my highlight tape a, a couple times, but my mom watches it and dad watches it, you know. Every day they remind me, like, I hope you're ready. And I just answer them, like, coming with a vengeance. I don't know if I've seen it 3,700 times, but I've seen it quite a few times as well. Now, after you beat Purdue, you went on to face Kentucky when the Wildcats were still undefeated, gave them a heck of a game. What, what an impact has that finish ha had on this team going into this season? Um... It kind of helped us uh, a lot, you know, as a team playing Kentucky. Uh, yeah, we lost, but I think we grew as a team. You know, that was a big time stage. That was one of the biggest games we played, like, throughout the year, the whole year. That was the best team we played. And, you know, we gave them a battle. Um, it was like a learning experience for us, you know, in the future. Like, we've been on that stage. We know how it feels, um, you know, through all, through all the trials and tribulations that we went through, you know, we didn't give up. Uh, we stuck with each other. You know, we just made a few mistakes that that we should be able to fix. You know, through through practice this year, uh, we got our veterans coming back, experience. Uh, we got good leaders from everybody, one through twelve. Playing Kentucky just kind of helped us grow as as a unit. Uh, made us come together. That if we can play against uh, Kentucky, we can play against anybody. You did great things last year with Larry Davis in charge. Now your head coach is back, Mick Cronin. What's that mean to the team? Um. It means everything, you know, to have him back. Uh, he, He's our for real leader uh, when it comes down to it. He makes the final call um, when you know when you need some guidance, when you need help through the game, and you're just confused that you can know that you can always count on Coach Cronin uh, to help you, guide you through it. Um, you know, he's a veteran. He's been coaching for a long time. He knows the game very well, like the back of his hand. Um, just having that main guy back, you know, He's an adult, so you got to respect your elders, uh, and you respect him as a man. We're about to see you guys for the first time this year, but you've seen each other in off-season workouts and pickup games, et cetera. Who are the most improved guys going into the year? Most improved guys. Is it a big list? Yeah, I say everybody improved during the off-season. You know, you can't just sing, single out anybody um, from the big men and – them scoring with both hands and moving on the block to defense, to the guards, uh, learning how to pass, not making uh, dumb decisions, uh, not turning the ball over, you know, trying to keep the ball under control. Uh, you know, it's a different shot clock, so learning the speed of the game, playing with a shorter clock shorter clock during open gym, and the three freshmen, uh, you know, it's different from high school, and I think we did a wonderful job bringing them in and taking them under our wing. Like, the game is different. Now that high school's over, the, you got to learn new ways of the game, uh, teaching them defensive schemes early, uh, learning how to push the ball and not get down when somebody gets on you. People are always interested in learning about the newcomers, so I'm going to bring up those three names and get your thoughts. Let's start with Jacob Evans. Uh, Jacob Evans is a uh, wonderful scorer. Um, he shoots the ball very well. Uh, he's very big for his age. He's standing at almost 6'6". Six, six. Um, one thing I say is figure out on offense his motor and – Get him going on the defensive end. Trey Scott. Trey Scott, uh, he's a good stretch wing, um, you know, working to knock down the shot and playing very fast. You know, he, he reminds me of a Justin Jackson once he once he figures it all out, probably, you know, end of this year, beginning of the next year. Once he probably won't, won't have his toughness, but he'll have his energy level. Um, you know, he's like a gazelle running up and down the court, jumps very athletic. Um, block shots, and on the defensive end, just figuring it out, how to uh, rotate on screens, rotate to the next defender. Uh, when you got to make the weak side box out, get rebounds and push in the transition. Justin Jennifer. Justin Jennifer, wonderful guard, very excellent passer. Um, very quick with the ball. Once again, he knocks down shots. Uh, he can get in the lane. He can create for others. And once again, it's a defensive thing, uh, figuring out, you know, the guards in this league, they not slouch guard, so pressing 94 feet to get back, uh, fight over screens, rotate to the next 
scramble drills, we call it, you know, just figuring out the ways a way to stay on the court. You guys have a ton of experience back this year. There's really nothing out there that, that you can see that you haven't seen before, right? right. Um, uh, yes, we got four seniors, two juniors, and two sophomores that kind of helped us out a lot with Gary Clark and Quad. Mm. Experience shouldn't be, shouldn't like help us versus any other team because we know how each other plays. Uh, we know how, you know, when people get down, how to help them get back up uh, when adversity comes their way. Just playing together, working as a family, just being a unit, playing together. Should be a fun year. Thanks for the time. Thank you. All right, that's Troy Copain. I'm Dan Hort for Bearcats TV.